All right, everybody, what's up? It's Thunder. Back here on Black Ops 3 and away from COD Ghosts for a little bit. I do have another COD Ghosts upload scheduled a little bit later on in the week. We'll be going back to COD Ghosts, but for now, I wanted to come back to Black Ops 3 where there's actually a lot of action. Black Ops 3 is action packed, baby. I ain't running around checking bushes for Epic Sanchez camping out. <laughs> My man, Epic Sanchez. He was up in every, he ran up in every bush in that map, dude, from the last upload. If you guys missed it, check out my last COD Ghost upload. Oh my goodness. Well, and if you don't want to watch it, I'll just basically sum it up for you. I ran around a map about five times, a bright-ass map during daylight. And for some reason, even though it was daylight and a bright-ass map, everyone had thermal scopes and there was camping in bushes. I mean, my man Epic Sanchez uh, ran up in more bushes than uh, it's Tristan Thompson, man. So anyway, anyway, so we're back here on Black Ops 3, and oh my goodness, son, I did not just do that to you. Did you see me turn on that dude? Oh my goodness, that was savage. Oh my, <laughs> yo, I don't even know how I did it, man. Old man's got some stick skills, fellas, what can I say? <laughs> that was crazy. So, uh, we're back here on Black Ops 3, man, this game's just more fun for me, man. No, no disrespect to COD Ghosts, I know a lot of you guys love COD Ghosts, and uh-oh, Rejack. And oh, glitch? Oh my goodness. Come on, son. Stuck between a rejack and a glitcher? What do I do? I don't know. I'm just going to keep moving. I hope I get lucky. <laughs> I missed that guy. I'm going to flank around here. Oh, get on, baby. So pick up the Cerberus. And there's a lot of people trying to get at me back here, fellas. <laughs> well, I'm going to call my Cerberus. Oh, get a hit marker with the C4. Take him out, baby, with the jump shot. Oh my goodness, fellas. I am feeling it. I'm just going to insulate myself with some bees nuts. These dudes are going to come back here and chase me. Whoa, what the hell just happened? All right, watch this, watch this. Oh, <laughs> pick up the Wraith. They ran right, <laughs> they ran right into my bees nuts. And uh, this was an action-packed game, fellas. It really was. I had a lot of fun. See, you don't see this on Ghost, man. I mean, uh, you don't see this on COD Ghost. I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of you guys like it, but look at that. Kill streaks, killing shit. People running around. A lot of action. Man, I missed this. I really did. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> oh, my God. So you can even swim in this game, man. Black Ops 3 is cool, dude. Really cool game. Uh, super, super underrated COD, in my opinion. And uh, we're going to be getting a second helping of this, guys, because Black Ops 4 looks an awful lot like this game. And uh, CUDA. Oh, XM Cheese. XM Cheese always going to beat the CUDA. Oh, I even shot him first. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, I want that XM Cheese. Hopefully, I get that, dude. Hopefully, I get that at the end of this triple played. And look at the Wraith. The Wraith just putting it work. The Cerberus. What a nice combo for free-for-all, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Watch the slide piece, fellas. Oh, low blow, baby. And I love the slide, man. So glad the slide is coming back to Black Ops 4. Look at that sexy diamond cam camo Cuda. I love it, man. Look at that. All right, so I pick up another W here. Another win closer to my triple-played completion. And, fellas, I'm going to talk about a few things here, man. I guess uh, World War II is going to be giving people the Valkyrie map pack for free. Now, we already know that Black Ops 4 is getting the maps for free. But there's going to be a big community update. It's going to go live on May 29th. Sledgehammer Games has announced that there is a new game update coming for Call of Duty World War II on Tuesday, May 29th. In their latest community update, patch notes and details on the update will come when it goes live. In addition, in their community update, Sledgehammer Games has announced that DLC Pack 1 multiplayer map Valkyrie will be free to play this weekend in the Valkyrie Mosh Pit playlist. The maps will be free May 25th through May 29th, and the Mosh Pit playlist will have double XP, double division XP, and double weapon XP during that time. Dude, you know what I say, man. Activision, here's what you need to do, <laughs> okay? Just give everybody the maps for free starting now. You want to get the Call of Duty community back on COD World War II? Just announce that you're giving all the maps for free. The DLC, uh, the Zombies maps, like you know, that'll still be paid content like you have planned for Black Ops 4 anyway. But give the multiplayer maps to everybody for free, man. You guys were wrong shipping that game with nine maps. I know what people are going to be saying in the comment section. Oh, what about the guys who, who bought the Caesar Pass, man? They're going to be pissed off. They paid that money and, and they're just getting it for free? Well, yeah, like I said, dude, I mean, Activision could just reimburse those dudes with COD points. Just gift all their accounts, COD points to the Postmaster. 
I mean, it don't cost Activision no money. I mean, honestly, Activision could print a trillion COD points right now and ship them to all of us. It wouldn't cost them a dime. You know what I'm saying? It's fictitious currency, man. It doesn't cost them anything. And it's not like anyone's buying COD points in that game anyway, Activision. I mean, who's out there spending real cash on pistol grips, weapon charms, and granddad's clothes? Honestly, can you imagine slaving all week, working your ass off at a job you hate, and then coming home with that money and giving it to Activision for pistol grips? <laughs> Yo, nobody's, nobody's spending real cash on these supply drops anyway, Activision. So gift everyone's account COD points that has a season pass, that paid for the season pass, and just give us all the maps for free. I mean, if they announced that all the multiplayer maps in COD World War II are going to be free right now, I'd be on that game playing it all the time. I really would, but I really don't feel like playing Boost Off Cannon again, or USS Alexis Texas again, or any of the other ship maps where there's like, I don't know, eight or nine different ways to get flanked by, man. Yo, I hope the Black Ops 4 maps have some kind of map flow and map control. I am sick of these chaotic, crazy-ass maps where you could get flanked from like eight or nine different directions, man. It's just, it's pure chaos, dude. So... That's what Activision should do, man. You want to get people back on the game right now? <laughs> Give the World at War community all the maps for free. And all you guys out there that bought the season pass, hey, man, whatever. You're going to get cop points. That, that's what I would do. That's what they should do. But what do you guys think about that? Uh, another thing I saw, man, I saw, I could not believe I saw this because if I was a betting man, I'm talking about um, the Black Ops 4 blackout mode. Von Dehar just announced that the blackout mode is actually going to be... Uh, in first person. Now, if I was a betting man, I would have said, yo, they're going to put that blackout mode in third person all day just for the character skin sales. I mean, Fortnite's making over $120 million a month just selling character skins. Because in Fortnite, you're playing in third person. You can actually see the character skins. They look really cool. Now, I know everyone was hyped about getting, you know, skins and, and gear and uh, outfits in this game, Black Ops 3. Uh, but... You can't really see him, dude. You can only see him when, like, like right now, what do I see? I just see my gun. I don't see what kind of outfit I'm wearing. I mean, people are buying supply drops for weapons in this game. That's the only reason. I don't think anyone's really buying supply drops in Black Ops 3 for skins that they can't even see or emblems or whatever else is in here, man. Melee weapons. Uh, maybe, maybe you guys would spend money for melee weapons. I'm sure they're out there, but... Uh, so, if Blackout is going to be in first person... What the hell are they going to... What are they going to sell people? Are they going to sell people weapons? Because, you know, Activision is going to make their money somehow. If they're not making their money off character skins, then... I, I don't know. Maybe Blackout will have weapons in the supply drops? I hope not, man. I, I really hope not. But it just doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, I'm sure they still will sell a lot of character skins. But... I don't know, man. Character skins in first person... I think in third person, they would sell a heck of a lot more. And let's face it. The sole purpose Activision is putting Blackout and Call of Duty over campaign is for financial gain. Let's face it, their business, they're here to make money. The campaign don't make them no kind of money. As a matter of fact, I think I heard like less than 10% of the people that buy Call of Duty actually ever finish the campaign. So uh, that's another reason why they get rid of it, guys. I mean, if, if, if less than 10% of the community is even finishing the campaign, then what the hell are they even wasting their time putting it in there for? Uh, I mean, you know the Battle Royale mode is going to get thousands of hours. I mean, well, thousands, probably billions of hours of playtime. <laughs> They're going to get a lot of playtime in that Battle Royale mode. And I heard somebody else, some stupid rumor that the map is only going to have 24 players on it. I doubt that, dude. 1,500 times the size of Nuketown? Yeah, they, they could fit more than 24 players there, man. I mean, they could put 18 players on Nuketown alone. Uh, so, I mean, they'll, they'll definitely have... <laughs> They'll definitely have more than 24. I'll tell you that right now. I don't know the exact number. So I heard a rumor that's going to be 140 players. Uh, again, we have yet to see, baby. So, uh, oh, a little bit of bees nuts. Come on in, baby. Come on in. Oh, nice move right there. Some more bees nuts. And there you go. Perplex Society. GG's, baby. I like that nuked out player card you got there, homie. I want one of those. I should go for a nuked out one day. But anyway, fellas, that's going to do it for the video. Activision giving people a Valkyrie map pack for free. And Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout is going to be in first person. Uh, I still think they're going to sell some character skins, but where's Activision going to make their money, man? I don't know. I'm starting to get a little nervous here. I mean, I'm hyped for Black Ops 4, but I'm kind of nervous too, man, because I just know, like, 
There's some flippery. There's some flippery going on somewhere. I know that right now. Uh, oh, yeah, and they did say that the blackout mode will be available for us to play uh, on May 12th when the game drops. So it's not going to be the supply drops. It's not going to be some bonus mode. you got to unlock somehow. It's going to be playable on October 12th when the game drops. Not sure if it's going to be playable during the beta. Usually for the beta, uh, Call of Duty Activision, they have traditionally just given us multiplayer. But I don't know, man. They're doing things a little differently this year. They're switching things up. Maybe they'll let us play the Battle Royale mode during the beta. Maybe they'll let us play the Zombies mode during the beta. I mean, hell, Activision, just let us play it all, man. Let us play it all. Go all out. Just let us play everything during the beta. Anyway, all right, guys. That's all I got. If you enjoyed this gameplay commentary, please don't forget to like and share it. Oh, that good shit. And I'll see you guys on the next one.